Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve this equation for y. So we want to get y in its own. So we need y equals something. All right. So the first thing we do is just figure out what is being done to y right now. What are the operations applied to y? Well, we can see added on to y on the left side of the equation is a negative 3x. Now, so we have to think what is the opposite operation of that. How, what's the inverse operation of adding a negative 3x? Can you think of how you would undo that? Okay. And um, if you're stuck, let me just give you a clue. Like, what if we had something like, um, let's say you just had negative, let's say 13 uh, plus y equals 6. How would you get rid of that negative 13? What would you do? And you were solving for y. So just, just uh, you know, try to solve this one for y. What if you had negative 13 plus y equals 6? You would add um, 13 to both sides, wouldn't you? Just add 13. Yep. And so y would equal 16 plus 13, which is what? Or 6 plus 13, which is 19. Or just, you know, um, 13 plus 6, 6 plus 13, same thing, right? So that's all we're doing here. We're just going to add the 3x to both sides. And we just get y, because negative 3x plus 3x makes 0. That will make that go away. That'll get that problem out of your life. Now you have y equals 6 plus 3x, or 3x plus 6, same thing, right? Now these are not like terms so you can't add them together. I mean we don't know what x is. x could be 100 in which case we've got 300 plus 6, 306. Or x could be 10 in which case we have 30 plus 6 which is 36. But until we know what x is we can't add these things together and so that's just the answer there. I mean if you, yeah, okay, so in this case over here we could have said y is you know, 19. But this is just the answer. You just add 3x to both sides, right?